Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial on 3D printing. My name is Rahul Pai and I'm from the Tinkerers Lab IIT Gandhinagar. For this video, we'll understand how to use an Ender 3D printer. This video is recorded at the Tinkerers Lab IIT Gandhinagar. The basic concept used in 3D printing, known as additive manufacturing, has been around since the 1980s. But it wasn't until the early 2000s that it became accessible and affordable to most of the home users. Today, 3D printer is used in multidisciplinary areas. In fact, the possibilities of the 3D printer is limitless. To get on to printing, the first step is to make sure the software is in place. If the software is already installed, you may go directly to the printing procedure. Some of the most popular options include the Cura, Prusa Slicer and Simplify 3D. These programs allow you to adjust the setting for your specific printer and material and also lets you slice your 3D model into individual layers that the printer can then print. When slicing your print, there are various settings that you need to consider such as the layer height, the infill density and the print speed. These settings can have a significant impact on your print quality. To begin, you'll need to import the .stl file of your 3D model into the slicing software. Once the file is loaded, you can start adjusting the setting for your specific printer and material. Next, you'll need to place the object on the software's virtual build plate. This is where you can scale the object to the desired size and adjust its orientation, as well as change the placement on the build plate. The goal here is to maximize the efficiency of your print, which means minimizing supports and maximizing bed adhesion. Once the object is positioned correctly, you can select the material you will be using for the print. Different materials have different properties and may require different print settings. So, it's important to select the appropriate material for your needs. You will also need to select the nozzle size you will be using for the print. Larger nozzles can print faster but may sacrifice detail, while smaller nozzles can print finer details but take longer to complete. Next, you will need to select the layer height which determines how thick each layer of the print will be. Thinner layers will produce a smoother, more detailed print, but will also take longer to complete. Infill density is another important setting to consider. This determines how much solid material will be printed inside the object, as opposed to just the outer shell. A higher infill density will produce a stronger print, but may also take longer and use more material. If your print requires support, you can use the software to generate them. Supports are used to stabilize overhangs and other areas that would otherwise collapse during printing. They can be customized to fit the specific needs of your print. Finally, you'll need to consider the build plate adhesion. This refers to how well the object will stick to the build plate during printing. Different adhesion methods can be used such as a brim, raft or skirt. Once you have adjusted all these settings to your liking, you can generate the G-code that the printer will use to print the object. With the G-code saved to an SD card or other storage device, you are ready to start printing. Once everything is set up, you can insert the SD card and select the file you want to print. The printer will begin heating up the bed and the nozzle and then start printing the object layer by layer. During the print, it's important to monitor the progress to ensure that everything is going smoothly. If there is an issue such as warping or adhesion problems, you may need to adjust the setting or reprint the object. And that's it for this tutorial on 3D printing. We have covered basics of how to create a 3D model. With this knowledge, you can start experimenting on 3D printing and create your own unique models. If you want to know more general details about the printer or the problems you may encounter, please click the link in the description. Thank you for watching and happy tinkering.